Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes. Hi. Can Thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you so much. Um, I'm having some internet, um, you know, connection issues. Um, so please let me know if you can hear me very well. I think it's a problem with Tigo. Like Tigo is like giving a lot of issues today. But uh -huh. Uh, but I'm not sure. My internet is like super slow. If I'm breaking or if my voice is breaking, uh, please let me know to find a way to, to get a connection in a different way. Um, okay. How are you guys? How is your Thursday? Is it good? Did you have a good day? Yeah, we have a good day. Uh, very busy. Oh, really? What do you do? Um... Well, I have to fix some some uh, construction problems. Oh, are um, uh, you a sort of engineer? House, uh, huh? Are you a sort of engineer? I am engineer, yes, but uh, not civil engineer. Uh, okay. But no, but I have to, for example, for the in the bathroom. Some mm -hmm. problems with the, with the, I don't know how do you say fuga, una fuga de agua. A leakage. Water. A leakage. Huh? Um, that is a water leakage. I'm, I'm going to write it here. Um, that a is a, 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 yeah, that is a leak. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. leakage, leakage. But you're leakage. talking about your house. Uh huh. I'm oh, talking about okay. No, I see. another problem. Yes. Uh huh. Um, yeah. When you say construction, uh -huh. I just thought, oh, he works in construction. So I thought that you you were like um I don't know an architect um uh like industrial engineer or civil engineer. Uh huh. But but yeah. you're talking about your house. I see. Do you fix uh -huh. those things manually? Uh no. I with the uh. uh I uh, I I forgot that the word, but uh, no, no, I I I couldn't do that because it's the I don't know how do you say miluso or albañil. Oh uh, yeah, well that I, is called. I hire I hire some I hire someone to do that. Uh, all right, um, there is a word for that actually, Jacob, a person who can do like. Um, work, uh, work construction worker. Uh -huh, like a mason, like a construction worker. If one person can do a lot of different activities, that is called a jack of all trades. So like un milusos, right? A person who can uh -huh. do a lot of different uh, what activities. What is the name? What is the name? Um, I wrote it there in the chat. It's jack of all trades. So that is like a person who can do a lot of different things. Uh, ah, and, okay. and that's amazing. A person who can be a plumber, an architect, right? A mason. Uh -huh. So uh, that would be a jack of all trades. Good evening. Mm -hmm. jack of Hi, all trades. good evening. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks for sharing that. Hi, guys. Okay. How how you doing? I see Vero here. I see Sophia there. Anna Maria. Good great. Good evening, Adrian, good evening. How you doing, guys? Good Let evening, teacher. I see I'm Monica fine. there. Good evening. Christian. No, me, Irving, amazing. We are having very nice attendance. I see Claudia, Jasmine, all right. And they disappeared. <laughs> okay, I see Maria, Ivania, all right. Um, how was your day, guys? So we like kind of heard that Mauricio's day was pretty busy. What about the rest of your day? How was that? Kind of, I see Yolanda like, ah. <laughs> okay, like usual, you know, like no, for me, it it was a good day, but okay. I have a lot of uh, things to do. But oh, it was good. Okay, <laughs> what do you do, Yolanda? May I ask? Uh, well, uh, I follow the execution of activities, uh, the project, project uh, executed by NGOs. Oh, okay. I am a task manager. Oh, that's project, amazing. Project in what? Project in what? A, a project that a NGOs executed in our country. 
like the NGOs are in charge of that, but you are the person who supervises the execution, the management, I guess, budget. Uh, I, well, uh, NGO, NGO. I work with uh, ONG. Uh -huh, um, ONG. International, uh, no, NGO. Uh, in Spanish, that would be ONG. Uh -huh, Organizaciones no gubernamentales. Uh -huh. Yeah, in okay. English, the name changes, so that would be organization. Uh huh. NGO. Uh -huh. Non government organization. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, I uh, work with them. For example, for what uh, or for which specific NGO do you work? Okay, I work with uh, Acugolfo, for example. This is an organization who uh, works in Morazan. Oh. I work with OPAMS. Uh, this is wow. the, I think the uh, arm, I don't know, is uh, el brazo, uh, el brazo técnico uh, de los alcaldes del Gran San Salvador. Uh -huh. I don't know what is the, el brazo técnico. The backbone. The technical arm. I don't know if that is the core. I don't know if the what you mean is like the core, como el corazón, like the most important thing. No. no? Or the backbone. No, I think it's a, a, they are a, a technical equipment a, who oh. works with the a, mayors of the a San Salvador. Oh, okay. Okay. So you are kind of the supporter. Wow, but that's very interesting. Uh, yes. So that's an NGO. Yes, I, yes, uh, I, I like my job. I I think I learn a lot of things about the, uh, 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 I don't know. Different uh, areas, I imagine. Yes, water, infrastructure, mm -hmm. I don't know, inf infrastructure. Infrastructure, yes. And also different yes, parts of the country, uh, right? Because I imagine you travel to Morazan too. Uh, yes, uh, I, I, I like to, I like my work because I learn a lot. Nice. Uh, a lot of things. Sounds really cool. Little by little, we will get to know to what everybody does <laughs> because it's a little bit hard sometimes to listen like to all of you. We are almost 30, but it's very nice. So I got an idea what Mauricio's job is, Yolanda's job. Um, Dagoberto, what do you do, Dagoberto? What's your day job? Hi. I'm fine, thanks. Uh, I'm a math teacher. Uh, I work for all all morning, and oh. I have I drove the work to the house. Oh. We have we are we are uh, online. Oh, we uh, well we we are starting the activities. Uh, we are planning the 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 work of all year. Oh. Uh, so uh, you it, are a yeah, teacher? It, uh, yes, it, it, we will to work in online and go presential. presential. Yeah, presential too. Presential. Or physical. Mm -hmm. Um are you like um like a school teacher like for high school? Do you teach any specific no, subject? The school the school teacher. Oh, what subject do you normally teach? Repeat this. Uh, the subject. Yeah, no, subject. What subject do you teach? Like Spanish, math, uh, chemistry, ah, okay. social yeah. studies, math. So you are a math teacher. Yes. Oh, very cool. Okay. So the best of luck for you. <laughs> and I hope you don't go back to presential classes <laughs> and you just stay online because um, with this COVID, you know, uptaking, I think it's more, it's going to be more uh, difficult, right? Um, great. So I got to know three of you. Okay, guys. Um, well, we are going to like get started with part of the, of the activities that we have for today. Little by little, we will get to know the rest of you. And um, just a little reminder, we have until today, guys, to finish session number one. I was checking and I'm missing some of your 
homework, some of your activities. So I just invite you that at the end of the class, you can help us with the activities, right? Um, you can help us with, it's only three exercises that you have to complete. So I will, you know, um, motivate you and boost you to go ahead and, and help us with that part. Today, we are going to change topic a little bit. We will move from phrasal verbs to another expression that is very useful for asking questions. So we are going to be working with the expression, do you mind? Um, you don't need to translate this to Spanish, okay? But just let's read the question and tell me what would be your answer. Imagine that I see you in the street, I am with my camera and I ask you, um, uh, I don't know, for example, hey, Carlos, excuse me, do you mind if I take a picture of you? Hi, Enrique, good evening. So do you mind if I take a picture of you? Is that okay? Is that fine? Yes, sir. What yes. would you say? Yes, no, maybe? Yes. Yes, it's okay. So no problem for you. All right. So let's take a look at this question. Do you mind normally is for asking, do you have a problem? Is there an issue? Is there a situation, right, if I do this? So excuse me, do you mind? Um, excuse me, do you mind if I text you? Do you mind if I call you? Can you give me another um, question that we normally ask? Oh, look at this one, for example. Excuse me, do you mind if I have a cigarette? I mind because I'm sick <laughs> and I don't like cigarette smell. So look at this question. Do you mind? Do you have any problem? Uh, can you tell me other questions? What else comes to your mind? Do you mind if I... Uh, look at this. Do you mind if I call you? Hey, do you mind if I call you sometime? Just to say hello. Do you mind if I send you a text? Can you give me more examples? Anything that comes to your mind? Uh, ask me a question. Excuse me, do you mind if I smoke with you? If I smoke here, for ah, example? Okay, do you mind if I smoke here? Exactly. Any other question? What questions do you normally ask? Like for permission, let's say. Do you mind if I? Now we've, you know, I got my mask all the time. Do you mind if I remove my mask? Do you mind if I take off my, my face mask? All right. What else, guys? What well, questions? Well, I mind. <laughs> what well, questions do you ask? Do you mind if I eat here in the classroom? Exactly. Do you mind if I have a pupusa in front of you? <laughs> do you mind if I yeah. eat here? Uh huh. I think I hear somebody else. Yes. And do you mind for me? Uh, is uh, when you can say uh, if that is important for me? Mm, yes, probably important or if that causes a problem or if you feel okay, if that is okay for you, that is the idea of mine. Uh -huh. Can you give me like some examples? What do you normally ask? for like permission, let's say, or what other scenarios uh, would you include this question? Do you mind? Do you mind if mm -hmm. I? Okay. Teacher, uh, for example, when you start, uh, when you buy in the supermarket mm -hmm. and you have uh, two or three things, um, you can mm -hmm. say, do you mind if I pay this one before you? Ah, okay. Uh, like asking another person, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, what have you ever asked that question? Uh, sure. To the I'm person sure. in front of you. Yes, the, the person uh, is in front of me, and I only uh, take uh, two or three things, maybe, uh, okay. and I need to pay uh, like quickly, and, like to live. Yes, yes. Fast. Oh, okay. That is a and very the other good person, question. And the other person has a full 
a basket. Uh -huh, I yeah, think. I got you. That is a very good point. Uh, somebody's a teacher. Me, Veronica. Yes, tell me, Veronica. I'm sorry, I still don't recognize your voices. <laughs> tell me, Veronica. <laughs> no problem. Uh, one question. When I say, do you mind? Is formal. This is on, on polite. Uh, more than formal, let's say that is super polite. Um, for example, imagine that coming back to the example of taking the picture, I can ask you, can I take a picture of you? And that's okay. But if you say, do you mind? I'm asking for permission in a very polite way. And um, of course, you can say yes or you can say no. Let's take a look at some answers here because this is super polite. So excuse me, do you mind if I take a picture? Go ahead, teacher, I don't mind at all. Yes? I have a question. Sure. I Here, don't know about the three teacher. I'm sorry? I don't Ma understand all. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I, I think, I don't know if I'm breaking or your voice is breaking. Uh, let me go with Krisha first. Krisha? Uh, I had a question. I can say, excuse me, teacher, uh, do you mind if I go to the bathroom? That's super or... polite. Okay. More than formality is more about polite or impolite. You can say, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? And that's okay. Teacher, may I go to the bathroom? And that is okay. But the other one, do you mind, is super polite, you know? Do you mind, like asking for permission? Do you mind if I do this? Uh-huh. Exactly, you can do it. There is no problem with that. Um, Veronica? Uh, uh, I, I find. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, if you have questions, please My go question, ahead. Teacher. Teacher. Tell us, tell us. Teacher, teacher. Sure. Do you mind me if I, if I eat a piece of apple just right now? Um, no, I don't mind at all. So okay. that is fine. Sure. I have Thank a you. question. Sure. I want to know if I say, do you mind if I change the channel? Is correct, right? Yes. That but is a very if good I say, If I say, do you mind to change the channel? Uh, it's no. okay too. No, no, that wouldn't be correct. Do you mind if I, normally this is the structure, the one you have here. Do you mind to change the channel? Mm, that doesn't sound good. Normally, mm -hmm. is uh, do you mind if I? That would be the one. Uh -huh. uh, okay, Sophia? Do you mind give you a suggestion, teacher? And that is a good one, but let's just include if. So do you mind if I? If I give mm -hmm. you a suggestion. Sure, do I don't mind. mind. Uh, I have one. No, oh, sure, go ahead. I wrote in in the chat. All right. And says if you can, uh, I don't know, find uh, music uh, relacionada con el tema. Mm -hmm. Related but, to this topic. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. To this topic and. Para asimilar mejor el tema. Um, sure. No tengo mucho. Uh -huh. Sure. I think I listened to your audio. I don't know if that was a chat or an audio, but I think I read it in the morning. Sorry, I didn't reply. Yes, actually, esa es una muy buena. Let me just turn to Spanish. Esa es una muy buena sugerencia, guys. Normalmente nosotros no lo hacemos por derechos reservados. Um, we don't have music here, like, um, porque son derechos de terceros, right? Y, y especialmente YouTube y e Instagram respetan mucho el derecho eh, reservado de las canciones and things like those. Pero ya que eh, trae la parte de, de la exposición a la música, es un excelente recurso. So siempre que tengan, you know, no es necesario que estén con el oído ahí a la parte del teléfono, a la parte de la música, but of course, ustedes se pueden ir a, a YouTube o otros canales, pueden buscar una canción específica, pueden poner un tema, y hay muchas canciones 
uh, que ya han sido seleccionadas para que ustedes los practiquen. That is a really good one. <coughs> Al igual, you know, nuestra clase solo es de una hora. El tiempo no es suficiente. You will notice. Se van a dar cuenta que una hora se nos va pero volando. Y normalmente tenemos dudas. Tenemos, nos hace falta como el tiempo para practicar más, el tiempo para hacer preguntas, el tiempo para escuchar. So, siempre que tengamos like, un par de minutitos extra, los invito a que busquemos material extra. <coughs> you know, um, en Pinterest hay muy buen vocabulario, hay muy buenas eh, listas, eh, materiales también, hay algunos PDF que sí tienen derechos reservados, you know, pero hay otros que son libres. Entonces, uh, inglés se trata de eso, you know, de buscar qué me funciona a mí para aprender inglés más fácil. Si aprenden mejor, por ejemplo, yo aprendo viendo um, eh, fotos. <coughs> So, veo la foto, veo el objeto y um, yo me, me, me lo memorizo rápido. Si les funciona, váyanse a imágenes de Google, you know? Si les funciona más con música, váyanse a YouTube and listen to some music. Si les funciona más hablar, hay aplicaciones, you know, donde son gratis las pláticas con alguien más o videojuegos, things like those. So, especially at this point, in intermediate, guys, los recursos son enormes. So that is a really good suggestion. And thank you for it, for bringing that up. That is a really good one. Now guys, sure. um, yes, tell me. In fact, in YouTube, there are many videos related to this topic, uh, uh, to verbs. There uh, are books uh, and dictionary. Uh, to, yes. Yes, the there are two, thousands. Two words, verbs. Yes. yes. So you can I saw like, yesterday one video. Oh, very I nice. I saw yesterday one video. Yeah. Now with technology and internet, we have plenty of resources that 10 years ago we didn't have. So English is easier. So it is not necessary. I always say homework doesn't mean that it has to be boring. So you can just watch a video and do something, listen to music and do something, watch a movie, you know, and be working. So you are totally right. There are plenty of videos on YouTube. There are dictionaries too. And yeah, Vero? I have a, a commentary. Sure. Then I understand that mm -hmm. always, I always sure. Uh -huh. uh, the compliment when I say do you mind uh -huh. is de debe ir con el if. Um, do, we you will, do you mind if? We will check this in a moment because there are two ways. This is one way and the other we will study this in a couple of minutes. But yes, this is one way. Normally with mind we use if. Do you mind if okay. I do you mind if you, do you mind if we, do, do you mind if she? So we have if, that is necessary. Look at the answers, please. Um, do you mind if we take your picture? Go ahead, I don't mind. Okay, it's okay for me. Look at the text then, yes? It's correct. Uh, do you, do you mean if I feel? <laughs> do, you, do you mind if I? I feel. Uh, if I feel, uh -huh, if I feel, do you mind if I, if I feel? Um, I, I don't get the second part. So, do you mind if I feel? Feel, feel, feel like sentir. Sentir. No, quiero decir sentir. Está. Te importa si me siento. Oh, sí. Si Oh, okay, sit. okay. No, 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 that is okay. Do you mind if I sit down? Exactly, that could definitely yeah. work. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I sit down? So any polite question you want to make, you may ask it with, do you mind? Look at this, do you think the boss will mind if I ask for a Friday off? And we have this answer. It's worth a shot. I think he will mind. Friday is very busy and we need a lot of, um, a lot of stuff. Remember, do you mind is like asking for permission. So you can say, no, I don't mind. It's okay. Or I think he will mind. Um, I have a question. Sure, Enrique, tell us. Uh, always in the, in the answer, all of you may include the, the word mind. 
Um, no, not necessarily. These are just a couple of possibilities, but it is not necessary. Let's check the following um, answers and you will see that. For example, a table for four, please. Do you mind if I sit by the window? This one says, no, I don't mind, but we can eliminate it. Like, no, uh, it's okay. Feel free to sit where, uh, where you like, right? Or wherever you like. So we can use that one as well. Look at the other one. Excuse me, miss, do you mind if I have a cigarette, like a smoke and a cigarette? Uh, I'm sorry, but actually I do mind. I am three months pregnant. I hope you can understand. So, and the last one says, do you mind if I call you sometime? I would love to have you for dinner. I do mind, I am in a serious relationship. So what is the point with I do, I do mind? I have two possibilities. When you say, I don't mind, it's go ahead, it's okay. Or yes, I do mind, please don't, it's not okay. This is the, the point here. I don't mind means go ahead. Guys, if I ask you, for example, do you mind if I turn off my camera because I'm sick? Imagine I ask you, do you mind if I turn off my camera? No, I don't mind. No, I don't mind. Uh -huh. So that is the point. So when you say no, yes, I don't mind. mind. Uh, so I don't mind. It, yes, I don't okay. mind. Go ahead. <laughs> but if you say, um, we will. please don't, it's not okay. So that is the point. Very good. Very good. Do you have an equation here? <laughs> With a part of mind. <laughs> Uh, hi, I, I don't know. I think somebody was going to say something. Okay, I guess that was a no. Okay, guys, then if there are no questions, let's go ahead and practice, all right? Remember, the questions are just like this. We are going to prepare a little but a very short conversation using this. Like, excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Um, or do you mind if I save your number in WhatsApp, all right? And uh, you can use a couple of these answers. No, it's okay. I don't mind. Go ahead. Or please don't. Or no, it's not okay. Or there is no way, etc. So guys, what we will be doing right now is the following. We are going to get in pairs. Okay, and we are going to create a little, a very short dialogue, like with one question and the answer, right? So we can practice the part of, do you mind? Give me just a moment. I'm going to ask you to join my, okay. I hope everybody gets a partner. I'm going to give you maximum like four minutes because it's super short. One question and the answer, right? Try to give a long answer or a little bit of um, if you say yes or if you say no, try to always give more details. And there we go. Okay, guys, I have already sent you the invitation. Let's go and join it.
for example, do you mind if I close the window? What it will be your probably answer? Uh, no, not to mind. No, no, I don't. Okay, no, I don't. I don't mind, or you can say, I don't mind. Okay, uh, so if I answer, negative answer, so I am agree, right? Yes, if you say, if you say I don't mind, go ahead. You're saying that you are agree with that person, with the activity okay. that that person is gonna do. But if you say, yes, I mind, you're saying that you're, you're disagree. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I now it's more clear. Thank you. Okay, you uh, can actually question. Actually, yeah, okay. it's, uh, it's kind of strange because it's the opposite, right? But it's because yeah. of the word mine. Uh huh. It's I mine. Bit, uh, it's it's just like the opposite. In the, it's a little bit confusing. Uh -huh. But but the thing the, the thing is when you just think about the meaning of the word mine. Like, is it okay for it's you? Like, te importaría en español. Uh huh. Exactly. So, do you mind? Do you mind if I go to my house right now? <laughs> okay. Like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. it's okay. Or for I don't mind. The, for asking for a favor, uh, mm -hmm. to the boss, right? Yeah. Do you mind if I? I don't know. Do you mind if I use your cell phone? Do you mind if I don't come tomorrow? Uh huh. So if you say yes. I, it's because that yes. is a problem for you. So you don't accept it. But if that you say, is no, for uh -huh. you. exactly. So it's quite the opposite. Mm -hmm. I'm super happy to hear that you got it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I asked, I uh, had a question for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, Irving, do you mind? We need a lot of stuff. stuff. Ah, okay. Um, sure. Hello. Um, hello, teacher. Good evening. Um, yes. Yo le decía, le comentaba a Ivania que en Spanish. Uh, Y yo me siento un poco perdido porque no sé, es decir, no entiendo mucho qué es lo que tengo que hacer ahorita. Um, pretty much just ask questions uh, using do you mind and then the other person will reply. That's it. Because um, lo que sucede con este verbo do you mind es que si usted dice sí, la respuesta es como negativa. Entonces es lo opuesto, you know. Um, because, mm -hmm. for example, if I ask you, um, mm -hmm. imagine that the, the window is open and I ask you, um, Carlos, do you mind if I close the window? How, how would you answer that? Um, repeat, 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 yes. please. Um, okay. Um, for example, I have a window, the window is open. And I want to close the window. So I come and I ask you, Carlos, do you mind if I close the window? Eh, me está preguntando si, la, si me importaría si la ventana eh, está cerrada. Uh, no, do you mind if I, do you mind if I close the window? Le importaría si yo la cierro. Do you mind if I close the window? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, uh, do you mind is refer a, a, a refer, uh, se refiere a cuando yo hago la pregunta. Uh, do you mind? Lo único que le está preguntando es como pidiendo permiso, pero en una forma bien cortés. Uh -huh, le importaría. Permiso. Le importaría, Carlos, si yo cierro la ventana. Do you mind if I close the window? Entonces, acá viene no, el punto. No, no, Ajá. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't exactly. Mean. I don't mind. Ajá. No, I don't mind. Porque si me dice sí, es I como no mind. me la cierre. Okay. Ajá. So, eso es lo que estamos haciendo ahorita, intentando hacer preguntas para que sea más fácil responderla también. So, remember, do you mind? No le ponga atención a qué significa. 
póngale atención a lo que va después. Do you mind if I open the door? Do you mind if I go to your house? Do you mind if I call you? Ok, so that is the point. Y es lo que vamos a practicar. Háganse preguntas con do you mind y pongámosle mucha atención a la respuesta. Uh -huh. Ok. Question, uh, free, teacher. Yes, any question with do you mind? Ok. Um, intenten escribirla, try not to write it, solo intente hacerla Ajá, en la mente de una sola vez. Ok. Do you mind if I if, uh, if I do I, you mind if I if I drive? Mm -hmm. Uh, so, Carlos, you can try to answer to uh, Maria Ivania. Uh, oh, it's adiando, okay. Adiando. Uh -huh, no problem. You can drive. Uh, or uh, no, uh, you will kill us. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, mm, do, you, do, you, do you mind? Uh -huh. repeat, repeat, Ivania. Uh -huh. repeat, okay, nice. What? Who don't smoke, Adrian? Do you mind? Yes. Mind if you let me twenty dollars? Uh, yeah. No. Uh, I don't mind. Only if not, I'll have money. <laughs> Hi guys, I think somebody having internet issues. Who was the other person here? Someone disappeared. <laughs> oh, okay. So Chris, I think is having problems with the internet. Ah, uh, yeah, Chris is there. Okay. Guys, uh, is the part of do you mind clear? Do you have it clear? Like the question and the answer, how we can answer that question? I have a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. The answer is do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? Yes. That is absolutely right. You can use to. You can use do you mind or would you mind? But I would say it's. It's more common, do you? Mm -hmm. But both are correct. Uh, and actually, um, with your question, Sofia, that I heard about money, like lending money, um, we are going to check that right now that we come back because that would apply in la segunda forma del mine. Porque ya no es como te importaría si yo hago esto, si no te importaría darme tú algo. <laughs> okay, so we are going to check that because there is a little change. So guys, let's go. If you got no more questions, let's go back. Give me one second. Hi. Hi. Can I have a question? Tell me, Yolanda. Uh, in the case, uh, if I buy my, about my dog, may I say, uh, excuse me, uh, if uh, can I put my next to you? Or do I put my dog next to you? I'm yeah. sorry, Yolanda, I'm having, yeah, no, I think it's my internet, I'm not sure. 
Give me one second. Let me try to connect with my um, phone internet because this is so weird. Um, and I don't think you're frozen. I think my internet is not good enough today. So give me just a second. Creo que hay problemas con el internet. No sé si todos están pasando por eso. Teacher, my internet connection is very unstable. Do you listen to me? Can you listen to me, guys? Hello? Hi. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay, wait a second. Wait just a second. Let me explain something to you. Always, I, always I are very bad. Hi, hi again, guys. I'm hi, sorry. Teacher. Welcome. I don't know. Welcome, if this teacher. Is my my internet. Can you hear me? Yes, we. Can yes, hear teacher. You. Yes, teacher. Yes, we can yes. hear you. So I guess it is my internet. Yeah, and my internet is is problem, yes. teacher. My internet connection. Or, or puede ser algo general, guys. Can it be something yes. general? Yes, it's, it's general. It's general, teacher. Yeah, so my internet is good. For, for example, moment. in the afternoon, Tigo no estaba funcionando, was not Tigo. working. Yes. Do you okay. have Tigo as well? I have Tigo. I have internet Tigo, teacher. Uh, okay. Me Tigo, same. Oh, okay. Y les daba problemas temprano. Yes. All day. Teacher. All day. So always. 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 No, all day. Teacher. Tomorrow, yes. Calling at the call center. Uh, when you try to say something, uh, the Zoom say, in, in, in English Corporativo Networks, but with, but bandwidth is low. Maybe it's problem. Uh, from your internet yes actually for just a second i got frozen and i couldn't listen to you but um ahora que adrian and, and, and uh, i got tigo so no sé si el problema es contigo but anyways um voy a intentar conectarme el tel del um, teléfono just in case the connection gets broken yeah i'm sorry but now it's that. okay teacher now se no, me escucha we bien. can hear you Oh, right now okay. we can hear you, teacher. And I'm not breaking. No se me escucha cortado. No, no. Okay. No, very clear. Let's continue, teacher. Okay. Let's okay. continue. Yeah. Let's Don't go. worry. Just in Be case happy. I'm going to log in there. All right. Um, so, guys, we were, like, talking a little bit. I'm sorry. Yolanda had a question, but because of my internet, I couldn't, like, quite get it. Um, so, Yolanda, yes. you were asking about... <laughs> Yes, about my uh, about if I I put my dog next to somebody, is put or leave? Is, do you mind if I leave my dog or put my dog next to you? No, that would be leave. That would be leave. leave. Yes. Do you mind if I leave the dog here for some minutes? Mm -hmm. That would be leave. Yeah. For the whole life. Yeah, because put okay. refers more like to something, you know. I have, I don't know, okay. I have this and I'm going to put it here. <laughs> uh -huh. So the dog okay, that would... perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, guys, Um, that was like part number one. And I mentioned to you before with do you mind has two different parts, right? Mm -hmm. So let me go with the second part because this is very interesting. So we have, do you mind if I, this is why, one way, and the second one is the following. Do you mind? But it is going to apply normally 
um, to questions, requests that I have for you. Cosas que quiero que ustedes hagan. And I'm going to use ING for the following, all right? For example, I need money, guys. And so I come and I ask you, hey, guys, um, ¿les importaría prestarme dinero? <laughs> so how can I ask that kind of question? So como es de ustedes hacia mí. Lending money. Uh -huh, exactly. I'm going to use ING with the following verb. I, ha yeah. I have a, a dollar for you, teacher. Oh, it's so <laughs> nice of you. <laughs> okay. So do you mind leaving? Do you mind, in this case, lending? Do you mind lending some money to me? Do you mind calling me every day? Do you mind? Lend it's lending or borrow? Mm, no, in this case, that would be lending. Because uh, borrow is, um, I take from you, but because this is from you to me, okay, I'm going teacher, to just lend. Teacher, mm -hmm. okay. Teacher, sorry. It's uh, okay. Mi internet está fallando, me saca de cada rato del, del aula. Um, está en el teléfono o en el computer. No, no, en la computadora. Okay, tiene la cámara encendida. Sí. Apáguelo un momento. Turn it off. Probablemente tenga la misma situación que yo tengo ahorita, que me aparecen todas las cámaras apagadas. So, pero creo que es cuestión de mi internet. So, digo, se está dando mucho problema. Se ve. So, turn it off y veamos si funciona o si mejora a little bit that way. Ok. So, um, guys, eso de acá. If you pay attention, Sí tenemos dos verbos. We have two verbs. Pero al segundo le hicimos como una modificación, right? So, a eso se le llama gerundio. Todos los verbos que lleven ing y que ya no son verbos, right? Se les llama gerunds. Y eso es precisamente lo que vamos a ver today. In the section number two. Give me one second. Hold on a second. Okay, so before, antes de mostrarles este video, before showing you this video, uh, gerunds and infinitives. Veamos un poquito qué es un gerund and what is an infinitive. Just uh, for you to remember this part. Uh, gerunds, we call them to all the verbs that finish in ing. Can you give me some examples of ing verbs? Eating, eating, working, working. Exactly. Very nice. Exactly. Now, infinitive, this is another way we call birds. An infinitive is the one that it has to at the beginning. For example, to change, to work, to work, to, work, to, work, to sleep. Yes. And to bark. Exactly. The dog is barking. Bark. For example, bark. the dog is barking. For example. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, exactly. So, that is the different gerund, ing, and infinitive. Oops. Uh, infinitive goes with the two. Now, with mine, we are going to use only gerunds. Do you mind lending? Do you mind eating? Do you mind going? Do you mind traveling? And the following topic is very similar or it's completely related to this. So let's check it out. Here we have infinitive in gerunds, gerunds for uses and purposes. Um, I don't know if my internet connection is going to work and I can show you this video, but let me give it a try. Um, guys, si no lo escuchan, let me go and... Hi. Hi, welcome. Join us in this new section. We're
Nos escucha. Oh, yes, give me just one yes, second. I'm listening. Wait. I don't listen this video. No, no, no. I, I stopped it. So give me one sec. About to explain where it is. I'm fine. No, I'm sorry. My internet is not going to support the video at the very moment. Okay. But um, you can watch this video later in your free time. So let me just go ahead and uh, give you like uh, a very general idea what is a gerund and an infinitive here. In English, we have some verbs, yeah, uh, that are going to be followed by gerunds or infinitives. And that is part of grammar and vocabulary. For example, let's talk about activities. And imagine that we say activities are things that you like to do. So guys, what is something that you love or what is something that you like to do? I love to read. Okay, so I love to read. Now here, with the bird love and with the bird like, you can use I love to read or I love reading. And both are correct. So I love to read. I love reading, I like to read, I like reading. Uh, what other activities do you like to do, guys? I like to think, I like to think. To think or to sing. Yes. Sí. Singing. What do you say, oh. what do you say ranchera? As the general Rancheras music. or Mexican music. Yes, okay. Have you ever hear a uh, ranchera in English? Um, only one from the movie Coco. Uh -huh. Remember me? Mexican country. Uh -huh. Mexican country. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, country, like country music. Yes, yes. The thing is that but... Mexican, Mexican music and country, the American country, they are a little different. Uh -huh, but what do you think, country or Mexican? Like I hear Fernandez the... in English. <laughs> yes, I I, I listen. Can uh, you sing? To, to Can cry, you sing to cry. The the chorus. <laughs> uh -huh. So I was so I was to cry and to cry, <laughs> to cry <laughs> and to cry. <laughs> what is ah? You mean to cry Yara, and to cry? <laughs> okay. <So> what... <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. I love Mexican music, but I am a, yes, I'm very, a big fan good. of Pedro Infante. Have you ever listened to Pedro Infante, guys? I yes, prefer yes. Alejandro Fernandez. Yeah. I oh. think uh, three or four songs of Alejandro Fernandez. Oh, very nice. Okay. Yeah, I think I just, I fell in love with Pedro Infante. What other activities do you like to do or do you love to do? I love painting, teacher. You love painting? Yes. Oh, interesting. So, do you have Very a good, the flowers. Very good, the flowers. Nice. What about drawing? It's nice. It's do you like drawing? Drawing, yes. Yeah. Okay, so painting, drawing, all right. What about the rest of you guys? What do you like doing? I love taking pictures. So I was going to show you my, my thing is, but it's a little hard, it's far away. No, I mean, yes, tell us. I like doing handicrafts. Oh, really? For example? Uh, butterfly for, uh, of paper. Butterfly. Or a different Like origami. Thing. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, nice. Yeah, some, some people are very skillful uh -huh, when doing handicraft. Nice. Maybe you can show us some pictures, guys. Okay. Um, what else? What about the rest? What, what is something you like or do you love doing? I like jogging. Oh, okay. Okay. That sounds nice. Now, that is the case of love and like, that they permit to or they permit ING and you are okay. You are fine. 
But in English, there are some verbs that they don't let you do that. They don't permit you to choose one or the other verb. That is the case of mine. Whenever we are going to use the verb mine, you only can use ing, right? So that is why I don't mind, right? Um, helping my family. I don't mind getting up early. What is something, guys, that you don't mind? Algo que no les molesta, que está bien para ustedes. Something that you don't mind. I don't mind working on Saturday or Sunday. What about you? O si me molesta, también lo puedo decir con el mind. I mind working on Saturday. So si me Clean. molesta. Uh -huh. Clean my house. Cleaning your house. You don't mind or you mind cleaning your house? Don't mind. Oh, you don't mind. Okay, you don't mind cleaning. What about the rest? Que es algo que no les molesta. It's okay. Remember here, la, es un poquito diferente. I mind es me molesta. I don't mind means no me molesta. Está bien, right? It's okay for me. Any other example you can give, guys? Ya casi nos vamos. So give me some examples. When I say I, I don't mind, is no me molesta. Mm -hmm. Exactly. No me molesta. Okay. Teacher, and we can translate like, uh, no me importa, no, no, me, no me molesta, no me importa. Sí, pero lo que sucede es que no me importa tiene un sentido diferente para nosotros salvadoreños, right? Because no me importa, es como I don't care. <laughs> uh -huh. Y el sentido de I don't mind es no me molesta. Como no hay problema. That is okay for me. Uh -huh. So es un poquito diferente, solo para no confundirlo. I don't mind no es que me vale chunga, right? <laughs> like in Salvador, no. I don't mind es no hay problema for me. That's okay very, for me. Very good example. <laughs> me vale chunga. <laughs> no, lo que sucede es que nosotros tenemos expresiones diferentes. For, for us, no me importa, es como I don't care. Pero es diferente, I don't mind. They are not the same. Mm -hmm. So, okay, guys, let's do the following. Um, no les voy a dejar tarea today, porque tenemos ya la tarea eh, de la plataforma, right? Guys, voy a revisar más tardecito, like around 10. Solo les pido me ayuden completando toda la parte de la sección número uno porque necesito enviar el reporte el día de ahora, please. And, y si no, ahí lo voy a estar molestando, you know, como a las 11 de la noche. Mire, me debe la tarea. <laughs> so, please, guys, ayúdenme con la tarea, con anticipación. Um, thank you so much. Gracias por la asistencia. Ha habido una super attendance. Um, sorry for the internet issues. Y nos vemos hasta el día lunes. No hay clases mañana. No se vayan a conectar, guys. <laughs> okay. Take okay, your day out. Oh, Have a good night. Good night. Bye, everybody. Have a good night. See you. Thank you. Likewise.